Welcome back. I'm John Shannon. Today's lesson, we call it, uh, Are You Making Plans for the Real Future? The text will be 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 8. Please stay tuned. Amen. In our text, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, familiar passage of Scripture, and we'll be using that passage for a foundational uh, passage for our study today. I appreciate all of you being here. And I'm happy to the God of heaven who has permitted us to go this far. Amen. Somebody say we've come this far by faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yes, sir. God is able to take care of us. Amen. 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 We're happy to see all of you here and you who are not members of this congregation. Thank you for coming. Amen. Amen. God is good to us. He's going to take care of us. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, David said, and, and let's look at what uh, 1 Kings 2. We're going to hasten on here. Won't be long and want to encourage you to keep going on. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, at the end of David's life, we're looking at 1 Kings chapter 2. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse number 1. I want you to look at this and compare it to what Paul said. David says, the, the text says, the writer says, now the days of David drew nigh. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That he should die. Yes, sir. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Yes, sir. Oh, that's something. It, yes, sir. Yeah. It's something to think about that our bodies will lie in the dirt. But we won't be there. No, sir. That's where our bodies will be. Paul said, absent from the body and present with the Lord. Yes, sir. Then he says, uh, be Strong, therefore, and show thyself for me. Mm -hmm. All the individuals that's gone before us, we got to be strong and keep going on. Yes, yes sir. Amen. I was informed that Sister Geneva Allen, is that right? Did I call it right? Is going on to meet her maker. Uh, sister uh, Latoya White's grandmother, uh -huh. and they were close. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I know she'll be missed. Mm -hmm. And we're praying for that right. entire family. Amen. Mm -hmm. And of course, the sister Hope left us. Uh, yes, sister Rosenthal, she's going on. Sister Jeter left us. Mm -hmm. Now, brethren, uh, that's what this life is all about. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we don't like to talk about this, and I don't want to depress you, but there's some things you have to know. Right. Uh, right. Brother Wester, take that and turn it upside down and put it right if you would. Yes, sir. Uh, time is rolling on. Yes, did did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. <laughs> turn it over. Turn, turn it upside down there, Wesley. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. This is what you call a uh, <laughs> hourglass. Now, you know what? It's going to take some time to fill this bottom up with this up here. Right. You understand? This little sand is coming down. You can't hardly see it. If you're in the back, you probably won't be able to see it. You probably be able to see all this white up here, but in the back, you can't see it down here. That's where it is. When you came into this world, this was turned upside down. And your time, you're not going to go past your time. No, sir. Right. Now, 
Somebody said, well, he had a, if they had a God and pit the doctor in town, uh, 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 uh. All right, all right. When your time is up, that's it. That's it. Now, how much time do you have left? Now, you know, sometimes <coughs> I'm looking at some young people in the audience, and they're looking at me and looking at uh, their parents and grandparents, and they say, you know, they old. But you don't know how God, how much time God put on you right. when you came in this world. You know when the doctor smacked you behind it and made you cry? Yeah. It wasn't that doctor. It was God that yes, got sir. it started. Yes, sir. And guess what? The doctors can put anything on you when you get ready to leave. God <coughs> says it's time for him to go. Yes, uh-huh. yeah. Well, <coughs> with that in mind, out of all the stuff that's going on in the world, and it seems like people are getting, trying to get closer to God, but they really don't know how. Right, right. right. And that's what we're here for Amen. as right. members of the body of Christ, New Testament Christians. We, had a, we have an awesome job is to teach people how to have peace with God. Amen. Romans chapter 10 and verse number 15 is called the gospel peace. Shows people how to have peace with God. Now, with that in mind, we're going to look at, we looked at David, now we're going to look at the Apostle Paul, who calls himself the chief of sinners. All right? Now, that text was read, and I want to say that uh, Brother Johnson did a good job. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And Brother Pettit prayed real Amen. good. Yes, sir. Yep, sir. And Michael Chambers, I don't know what happened to you, son. You sang this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, I'll tell you what, I almost shouted over there. Right. Man, that was good singing, boy. Amen. I tell you. Yes, sir. And uh, I, I don't know. I, this is going to be live stream here. And uh, now look at this here. Let's look at this. Let's take it real easy. I want everybody to look at this carefully. Now, it's about you. Are you, you, why are you? That's me now, but that's you. Are you making plans for the real future? Mm-hmm. You know, we're wearing masks, and that's good. We're trying to limit, I think yeah. Sister Petty got something out there. Six foot, three foot, and all, and that's good. Mm-hmm. That's that's real good. We're making plans, right? Get ready to go to house and want to go at a certain time, brother Fox, because we don't run into a lot of folks. Mm-hmm. But I haven't heard one politician, or the president, or anybody, or governor, say anything about the real future. No, no sir. Okay. Man. Now. To make plans for the real future, it's an individual thing. Amen. Amen. I can't do it for you. Mm-mm. You can't do it for me. You can't do it for your children or your grandchildren. Amen. And you know, let me just encourage all of you parents who have knucklehead children and hard-headed grandchildren and all of this. You may want them saved, but they got to be warned. They, they have to be warned. They have to want, want to be saved yes, and sir. saved. Amen. Right. Right, Somebody said you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. No, sir. If they don't want it, they don't want it. Now, is that good? Good. Now, let, let's look at this then. Now, God has done so much for us to make plans. Amen. You know, Peter said on the day of Pentecost in Acts 2 and verse 40, he says, save. Yourself from this untoward generation. Well, how can you do it? Well, you got to hear the scripture first, All right. and you got to hear something about what Jesus did with his blood, and he purchased the church. Got it? Now you need to listen to this. That good? good. Look at look at this now. Let's look at it. Seven, six points. Let's look at it. We're going to look at it. Look at The real fair way. What? The real fair way. That's a goodbye. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> That's verse 6. Then we have the real fight. That's the good battle. 7, 8. Y'all still with me now? Yes, sir. Then you have the real finish. The good break. You get, as long as you're living, you don't have no break right now. Amen. Mm -mm. No, God is going to give you a break when you finish. Yes, right. If you ain't finished, you ain't getting no break. Amen. Right. Wait a minute. Let me, I, I better say this here. You know, sometimes we want a break from a lot of stuff in life, but as long as you're living, you really never get a break. No, sir. Amen. Right, preacher. Right. Amen. Well, anyway, that's 7B. Then we got uh, the, the real finish. We got the real faith. Uh -huh. That's the good belief. Yes, sir. Pretty good. Seven C. Then we got the real, future. real what? Future. Real future. That's the good bliss. That bliss. Yes. That means happiness. Yes. That means joyful. Yes, sir. All right. All right. And then, last but not least, the real fortune. fortune. Good blessing. Yes, sir. Pretty good. Amen. Isn't that good? Now let's run down this real simple. I used this lesson in 2001, and I preached it 35 minutes, and 17 people obeyed the gospel. Amen. On this very lesson right here. Right. And one of the boys obeyed the gospel was a guy by the name of Norris Cole Jr. Mm. Yes, sir. So, Norris, if you're watching this lesson, this is the lesson that I use when you obey the gospel in Dayton, Ohio. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, that's pretty good. Now, let's run down here now. And you, have you noticed this? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's filling up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. can, can you see that? Yep. Every time you see this filling up, that's how people are dying all the time. Yes, sir. All right. Now, let's, let's run down here. Look at this. Let's look at point number one here, the real farewell of the goodbye. Paul says, for I am now ready. Now, wait a minute. Are you ready? Wait a minute. Are you ready? You, why are you? Are you ready? You have been driving along and thinking about, you know, this may be my last day. All right. It may be your last day. And I thought about something today, Sister Cole. I thought about it. You know what I said? I said, all this stuff I was accumulated. I'm going to leave it here. Yes, sir. I can't take that up with me. Uh, nope. And then you get mad at yourself and say, what I've been working for all these years, I can't take none of it. No, you can't take none of this with you. Uh -uh. You not either. No, sir. All right. He says, I'm now ready to be offered. He says, and uh, look. Time. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Time. He said the time of my departure. Wesley, I know you're going to die, Wesley, but I'm not worried about your departure. Right. I'm worried about my departure. Because right. I got to get out of here. Right. Paul, gonna, Paul said, absent from this body and present with the Lord. And David said, uh, we stay here and our life is as a tale told and we fly away. Yes, won't, won't be around here no more. Amen. Oh boy. He says the time of my depart is at hand. What do you mean at hand? It ain't here yet, but it's close by. Yes, sir. Let me show you about at hand. At hand. Look here. See here? It's at hand. Yes, sir. See it? What do you mean? It's close. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, is at hand. Sometimes you ought to know after a while, Brother Fox, you ought to, after looking at this, you ought to be saying, well, you know, I ain't got too much more time. All right. Right. <laughs> It'll scare you down. Yes, Is right. that right, Sister Norm League? You say, well, hold it. I've been here this many years. I don't have too much more time. I tell my kids that. You're right, though, preacher. Yes, sir. You know, somebody said, well, you know, just pray and ask God to give you 15 more years. I haven't read nowhere but one man prayed and he got 15 years. Yes, sir. Well, so when your time... Paul said the time of my departure is at hand. What do you mean at hand? It's close by. Right. right. It's close. 
So that's the, and then he looked at the farewell, and that's going to be goodbye. Now, then he says, let, he start talking about it. He, he said, I am now, watch this now, look at Paul. He said, I am, and then he said, the time of my departure. He said, my departure, and he said, I am, I am now ready. That's Paul. Can you say the same thing? Now watch this. Then he changes and uh, switch a little bit. He said, I have. He keep talking about himself. Look what he said, I, I, mine. Right. He said, I have fought a good fight. Look at it, look at this here. Son of the real fight, the real battle. Paul said, we, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, right. but in spiritual weakness in high places. Yes, sir. But what is our fight all about? Our fight ain't what a lot of us think it is. Right. It ain't no worldly fight in physical stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Spiritual warfare. Yes, sir. That's why Paul said this to the Ephesians, Wesley. He said, put on the whole arm of God. Right. Why? Because you're in a fight. Yes, sir. But it ain't physical. Right. Man. Young people, listen to me. Saturate your mind with the word of God. Amen. So when the devil come at you, you can take the sword of the spirit and ward them off. Yes, sir. But if you don't have the word of God in you, they're going to whoop you. Amen. Yes, sir. Fox, they'll whoop you, man. Amen. They'll whoop you. Yes, All right. Let's go a little further here. Pretty good. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse number 12. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Lay hold on the eternal life whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before men and witnesses. Boy, that's good. Fight the good fight of faith. That's good, isn't it? Right? Second Timothy 2 and verse number 2, it says, uh, Thou therefore my... Oh, no. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Pretty good. No man that walketh entangles himself in the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Brethren... Listen here, we need to be careful in this world in which we live with this virus stuff because it is really killing a lot of people. Yes, sir. Uh, and, uh, and the news media is going to let you see how much it's killing you. Right. They, right. And you focus on it. If you focus on that too much, you get to the place where you're scared to go to the bathroom. Yes, right. Amen. You're scared to go anywhere. Right. I'm telling you. So let, listen here, some things you're just going to have to live with. Right. And we're just asking God to take us through it because uh, we, I, we, we can't see it. They don't know nothing about it. They ever happened before. Right. What are you going to do? Sometimes we get in predicting where we depend on the Lord. Amen. Ask, I like what you said, Brother Joe Moses. Pray and ask Amen. God to take Amen. care of us. So, Lord, we need you. Amen. And but guess what? God already knows what the remedy is. Right. But he moved at his time. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Oh, boy, that's good. good. But we're going to be all right. Pretty good? Good. We're going to be all right now. So that's the real fight. Uh, the good battle. Are you fighting? Man. All right. Then number three, the real finish. The good break. Paul said, now, here you go again, Mike. He used the word I. Mm -hmm. He said, I am ready and my departed. Then he said, I have fought. Yeah. Then he says, I have finished. Look what he said. Notice he said, I finished my course. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to finish the course. Let, yeah. let me just throw this in here yeah. for you parents who are worried about your children they done got in the 20s and 30s, they teenagers. Let me tell you something. I, I, I want to look here. They got to run their course. Right. That's right, right. Right, preacher. <clears throat> I don't, don't have no older people in here, no rabbit hunters, but uh, in rabbit hunting, if you jump a rabbit right here, you got it, and you got dogs, and they take the rabbit and start running. You got it? Sometimes what that rabbit will do, he'll do like this. He got to run his course, but you, he going to come right back here. Right, yes, sir. <laughs> right. Every time. All so all right. you got to do, Wesley, just stay right there and shut your mouth. Oh, so guess what? He coming back. Yes, sir. He coming back. He gonna run his course. Amen. That's the way young people are. Amen. That's good, preacher. They listen. They'll come out. Sometimes the rabbit will make a eight, 
And sometimes he'll make an eye. But the thing about it, he, they always come back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just like the folk used to say, Sister Cole, the chicken may wander off, but they come home to roost. Yes, sir. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Yes, sir. Your kids are one off, but they come back home to mom and daddy. All right. If their mom and daddy was worth their salt. They're good, preacher. Right. They can't come back home. Mm -hmm. So, Chamber, do you know what I'm talking about? Don't you know what I'm talking about, sister? You teach your kids and try to show them everything, and they go just like a rabbit. Yeah. Then guess what? You see them coming back, ragged as a can of crowd. <laughs> mama, mama, can I come home? I'm hungry. <laughs> I talk to me, somebody. Amen. Got it? Sometimes members of the church run their course in the world, but when they boil down, they come back like the prodigal son. I need the law. Right. Yes, sir. Paul said, I have finished my course. Acts chapter 20 and verse number 22. Look what Paul said. And now, behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the thing that shall befall me there. He says, say that the Holy Ghost are witness in every city saying that bonds and affliction abound me. Then he says, but none of these things move me, neither count my life dear unto myself so that I may finish my course with joy. With joy. Yes, sir. Amen. Are you worried about your course? Let me tell you something. God has given everybody here a course to run in the religion of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yeah. A duty. I can't do it for you. That's right. And Paul said he did his with joy. Mm -hmm. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Boy, isn't that nice? Yes, sir. Paul said, I did, did, let's go, let's go a little further. And he says, and now behold, I know that ye all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. Look what he said. He said, wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. Mm -hmm. Then he said, for I have not shone to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Paul said, I had a course to run. I got a job to do. Yes. And I, that's why he could write here and says, I fought a good fight yes, and sir. I finished my course. Now, have you finished your course? It's How good. close are you? You don't want to leave this world and you didn't finish your course. Right. Now, I don't know but two people in scripture that said that. You know who it was? It was Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew, in John 17, I have finished the work that thou gave me to do. And Paul said, I have finished the work. Yes, sir. And would you be able to say that? That's good, preacher. We don't have long. We got to get out of here. Will you finish? It's not how fast you run, it's about how well you run. Right. Yeah. Just slow it on down, because listen here, we don't, the time isn't going in. Look at that, man. Look at that thing filling up. Yeah. And I, look at that. Yes, sir. Michael. Mm -hmm. And you know what you can't do? I know you want to turn it over and get it started again. <laughs> you can't do your life like that. Amen. If you could do it, wouldn't you? Yeah. What about you, Rick? Joe, what about it? If you could do it, yeah. will you go back? To, I'm going to go back to when I was 19. I'm going to do some things. No. Amen. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> what did you say, Mike? It's over. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's going on. I think they're getting that. Good break. Now you can break time. Now, real faith. That's the good belief. He says, I. Boy, there he again. I kept the faith. What do you mean? He kept God's word. Right. I kept the faith. When you get ready to depart this world, Frank Cochran, will God say you, you kept the faith? It's good. Now, he, wait a minute. He didn't he won't ask you, did you, how many, did you make all the services at the church? He won't ask you that. Uh -uh. Won't know, did you keep the faith? Amen. Oh, boy. Let me just time in and inject something in here. You like that, Wesley? Yes, sir. Look, look at this. All this stuff is going on. And this stuff is going on. Let me tell you something. You keep your faith. Amen. Somebody said, I can't make it to worship. And I just don't want to go. You can send your money in the mail. Is the mailman still running? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Send your money in. Be your 
Yes, sir. You know what? Let me tell you something, brother. No church of Christ where you got God's people who are faithful, they're not going to be lacking any money. Amen. Because Amen. members of the church of Christ are going to give. Help us, preacher. Amen. What? Help faithful us. members of the church of Christ? Yeah. Somebody said, well, y'all not having services. What, what are you going to do about the contribution? Let me tell you, we are God's people. Amen. And God Amen. send money our way, and we know we done lay by in store and we give as God has prospered us. Amen. Right. Now, if you're just going to use this as, I was talking to a fellow yesterday, Fred the Bad, rent some house, and the folks told him, said, you know what, I don't have to really pay my bills now. The right. governor said, he said, you ain't renting from the governor, you renting from me. <laughs> right. <laughs> boy, I like that, boy. Is that right? Is that pretty good? Now, look here, the government say you don't have to pay your, but you got to, you got to give your contribution to the Lord. Right. Because the Lord's running this business. Is that good? Well, let's go a little further here now. He kept the faith. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse number 5, one faith. Amen. Jude 1 and 3. Jude said, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful to write unto you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saint. Got to stand for the truth. Yes, sir. Brother, got to stand for the truth. Amen. When I'm sleeping beneath the sod, listen here. Folks at James Road, stand for the truth. Amen. Don't turn. Don't alter. That's good, don't follow me. Follow the truth. Amen. Jesus said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth, yes, and the truth shall make you free. Let's look at truth in, a diff in two different ways. Christ is truth. Yes, sir. And the word is truth. Yes, sir. Christ is the word, yep. and you see it, don't you? Yes, sir. So you stick with Christ and his word, you can't go wrong. Yes, sir. God is able. Let's go a little further here now. Pretty good. Paul said, I buffered my body. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me. But I will not be brought under the power of any. Yes, sir. What do you mean? As you going through life, don't let nothing in this world have you a slave to it. Yes, sir. Amen. Nothing or nobody. Amen. Amen. Pretty good. Uh, 923 says what? And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partakers thereof with you. Then he says. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive, uh, receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Let's go a little further. And every man that is inscribed for the mystery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. That's pretty good. He said, I therefore so run, not as uncertain, now fight I, not as one that uh, beateth the air. He said, but, Paul said this, yes, sir. but I keep under my body and bring it unto suggestion, lest that by any means when I preach, I have preached to others, I myself may be a castaway. Paul said, I'm preaching to everybody else, but I got to keep myself together. Right. Yes, sir. Why? Because uh, you, you, look here, you got to make plans for the real future to get out of town. Pretty good. Behave in the body of Christ. First Timothy 3 and verse 15. But if I tarry long that thou mayest know it. Listen to this. How thou ought to behave thyself right. in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, pillar in the ground of truth. You got to know how to behave in the body. Amen. Got to learn how to behave. Buffet your body. Bring it in subjection, Right? Pretty good. That's pretty good here. Brave in the body. That's pretty good. Philippians chapter 1 and verse number 27. Only let your conversation, a matter of life, be as becoming of the God Christ, that whether I come and see you or uh, be absent, I may hear of your affair that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together. For the faith of the gospel. Boy, isn't that nice, yes, man? Then verse 28 said, And in nothing terrified by your adversary, which is to them, and what? Evident, Evident token of perdition, but to you, our of salvation 
and that of God. Boy, that's some good stuff, isn't it? Yes, sir. Isn't that good? All right, let's go a little further. Now, now look at Buffett, his body. Uh, behave in the body. Brave in the body. Broadcast in the body. Yes, sir. What do you mean in the broadcast? All this stuff going on? All this stuff that's going on. We got a broadcast. Yes, sir. Broadcast what? You don't need to talk about the pand pandemic. What is 19? Yes. You don't need to talk about that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The government got that covered. Yes, sir. What do we need to be talking about? We need to be talking about the Prince of Peace. Amen. Yes, sir. That's Christ. Amen. And the gospel. Preach. Pretty good. Yeah. Look what it says. Preach the word. Boy, look at that. Preach the word. Be instant in season. Out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Why, Paul? For the time will come when men will not endure sound doctrine, but heap to themselves teachers having engineers. Now they're talking about everything, but you see, you can get over this violence. Yes, sir. You can be cured with this, but are you making plans for the real future? Yes, sir. And you all who are watching me in live here. You ought to be thinking about getting ready. Look at here. Yep. Look at that. Brother Shannon, you need to use this all the time when you preach so you won't even go over. <laughs> Look at that, Joe. Look at that. Yes, sir. Getting small, isn't it? Yes, sir. Would you like me to turn it over and keep preaching? No, let it stay like it is, Brother Shannon. <laughs> well, would you like to turn over in your lifestyle over again? Yes, yeah, turn it over. Uh-uh. Not going to have it like that. Good? Good. All right, let's go a little further. The real future. Good bliss. That's, that's the enjoyment. He said, his four. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There is laid up. Now, there he go again. He's using all these personal programs. He talking about I, mine. Now, he said me. Yes, sir. He says me. Do you know you got a crown for you? Amen. I can't get yours. Paul said, out of all of Paul's preaching, yeah. he was talking about him. Amen. I'm preaching to y'all. He said, but I got to keep myself together. He's called, his four that is laid up for me. Yeah. Now let's look at this. 1 Peter 1, 4 says this. Look at this. To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and that faded not away, Reserved in heaven for you. Yes, sir. Hmm. Let look at uh, verse five. It says, "Who are kept by the power of God through faith? Mm -hmm. Who's keeping us? God. How is He doing it? Through our faith. Yes, sir. Through faith unto salvation. Ready. Look. Ready to be received." In the last what? Reveal. Reveal when? In the last time. The last what? Time. See the time? Verse 9 says what? Receiving oh, the end. Wait, wait a minute. Do you believe that? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. It says what? <clears throat> Receiving the end of your wait, faith. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Faith. Receiving the what? The end. Good, preacher. What do you mean the end? There's gonna come a time all this all this faith stuff down here, it's gonna end. Yes, right, right. Wait a minute. Your body gonna end. Yeah, it's gonna be a time when you don't even have to come to service here. Right. <clears throat> Talk to him or somebody. Right. You don't have to worry about taking no Lord's supper. You don't have to worry about giving. Right. When is it, Mike? At the end yes, of your faith. When is it? It, 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 I mean, it's going to come a time when you don't have to worry about shaking nobody else's hand. No, sir. It's going to come a time when you ain't got to worry about watching. I'm running a little later. I've wondered. No, yeah, it's going to come a time at the end. Right. That's why you got to stay faithful to the end. Right. Amen. But faith, the end. Receiving the end of your faith, what? Even the, the salvation, salvation of, your of your souls. See, you ain't in heaven yet. <laughs> right. Nope. Wait a minute. You ain't in heaven yet. Let me get borders. Well, let's go a little further here now. Good. Now, then we got the real 
fortune. A good blessing. He says, a crown of righteousness the that the Lord, the righteous, judge. the righteous judge, shall give me. Who? Me. me. Somebody say me. Me. <clears throat> At that day, then he says, and not me only, but unto all them that also love his appearance. Yes, sir. That get us. Amen. Is that good? Good, preacher. Now, it's, that's enough. Time to quit. Look at this. We have the Holy Scriptures to show us how, what God has done for us. What Christ did, he purchased the church with his blood. You got it? We have faith in what Jesus did. Faith. We obey the faith. Faith, hear, believe, repent, confess, and baptize into Christ. Right. And all of this, when you do that, all the time you're doing this, you're trusting in what Jesus has already done. Amen. That's right. You got it? Now, faith and faithful. Look at this. Look. Faith and faithful. Then this is what, Mike? Flight. What? Flight. Flight. Anybody know what a flight is? Mm -hmm. What time your flight leave? Yes, sir. <laughs> Top, what time your flight All leave? Right. You know what I'm saying? What, what time your flight leave? See, but listen, Amen. we've had some sisters here that already took their flight. Yes, sir. Yes, That's right. And you know what? They wasn't late. No, sir. No. You're going to have to take a flight. Mm -hmm. Erica can't go with you. Mm -hmm. Can't. Mm -mm. Can't, they can't go with you. Mm -mm. Wesley and Joanne, they can't go with you. You got to take your own flight. Right. You can't be late. Right. Right. Now, don't think that their flight going to leave for you. See, you don't know that. All right. See, now right. you young people think, well, you know, uh, uh, what's called him old, he, he'll probably be gone. Well, hold it, Mike. Right. You don't, I don't know what God, what time God is going to cause your flight to leave, but it's going to leave. Man. Flight. And after the flight, that's what we're going to have. The funeral. You have what? The funeral. Wait a minute. Listen here. Don't think when your funeral is taking place that you're getting ready to go. Oh, no. You've been gone. Yes, right. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you've been gone out. You've been gone. When they had a funeral, yes, sir. you've been gone. You already made your destination. Yes, sir. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Are you making plans for the real future? Michael, go ahead and sing that. You're here and subject to the invitation. You remember the church and you strayed away? Come on, return. You had no obey the gospel, faith in Jesus, that he died on the cross and shed his blood. He was resurrected the third day. You got to believe that. You believe that Jesus Christ paid it all out for our salvation. And what we're doing when we hear and believe that, watch it. All the time we're believing, we're trusting in Jesus and what he did. We got to repent of our sin. Why? We're trusting in Jesus. We confess Christ as the son of God. We're trusting in Jesus. We're being baptized in water for the remission of sin. We are trusting in Jesus to save us. Then when we live the Christian life, watch it. Sometimes we fall. But all the time and all the way through, we're dependent on the Lord. Amen. Don't think one time that you earn your salvation. You don't earn it. Christ already paid for it. Amen. Listen to me. Yes, you are doing things by faith and having faith in Jesus, and he's the one that's going to save. Right. If you're here and that's your decision, <clears throat> together we stand in faith. We hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Continue to watch these lessons. Thank you as always, and God bless you.